Hey friends, in this video, we are going to review this Panasonic SCUA7. So let's move in. So hey friends, this is the Panasonic SCUA7. First, we are going to talk about the build quality and design of the speaker. So build quality wise, the speaker is made out of plastic, soft touch plastic, which feels very premium. And as you can see, the whole speaker is made out of plastic in the front. These are the grills for the speakers. This gives you a 180 degree sound because of that design this is a hexagonal design as you can see you get speakers on this side also and this side also let me move the speaker on this side so you can see the there is a single grill over here where you get twitters so this is nothing there is no grill this is just the panel body panel and you can see there are some chrome bits in the bottom of the speaker so let me just show you that so you can see these are those chrome bits and inside this panel this gets illuminated blue color cool blue color which looks so cool when you are listening to music in a dark place when you don't want any lightings this light will make your mood glow this is such a great lighting and you get this great lighting on all the sides of the speakers like in the center you get it over here and at this side also you get it over here and the chrome bits are also all around the speaker like the lighting and as I was talking about the design, this design is a very great speaker because of this design, the speaker is very loud, which I'm going to show you. You can hear the sound in a moment, but this design is a superb design. And the main part trick of this speaker is this panel. This is a mirror finish panel. As you can see, this is a very reflective panel on the top, which is of high maintenance. You have to clean it again and again you can see dust very easily and this panel is not scratch proof at all as you can see there are lots of scratches on this panel which i'm going to show you see there are lots of scratches on this panel you can see it through the camera also and you have to clean it again and again because this is a mirror finished panel and this is the main party trick of the speaker which i'm going to show you in a moment and when we talk about features features wise this speaker is totaled up like fully loaded with lots and lots of features you get two usb ports two aux ports one is not an aux port actually one is a rca to aux port you have to connect a rca cable to it and that goes to aux so that's like that you have fm mode you have a karaoke mode and dedicated six different kinds of eq mode for that karaoke you have 16 eq modes for the music you are playing you have a d bass kind of a setting inside the speaker where you can increase or decrease bass you have lots and lots of different kinds of settings on this speaker to get that correct sound from the speaker because specifications wise this is a 1700 watt speaker which is massive in my opinion you get 10 speakers you get four mid-range subwoofers four twitters you get two subwoofers inside this package and you don't have any kind of wires lying everywhere any kind of different speakers like in other speakers at this price point not at this price point some more costly speakers this much output no other speaker can give you in the market because i have researched a lot when i was buying this speaker sony is more costly but they have different kinds of components this is a single tower as you can see you get subwoofer everything inside this package you have everything inside this speaker and you get a remote also inside the package you can do lots of stuff through this remote you can switch off turn off the speaker you can connect to different kinds of modes also from the speaker you can change eq modes you can do lots of stuff through this remote while lying on the bed and changing music and do everything with this remote so that's a great thing you get lots of stuff so i have connected the speaker to the power and let me just switch on this speaker and show you that party trick as you can see this is the mirror finished panel over here on the top of the speaker so as you can see you have a cinematic lighting on the top this is the control panel as you can see this are touch capacitive buttons this works like your mobile phone but this is not that responsive like your mobile phone on the top as you can see this is the volume controller this is the eq mode controller you have different kinds of light not five six you have 10 20 kinds of uh, eq mode inside the speaker you can 
in the first ring as you can see you can play pause you can change tracks you can fast forward you can select different kinds of mode which you have connected to this device like and now it is in bluetooth mode you can connect to usb aux any kind of port and there are two aux ports there are two usb ports which i have shown you so now this is in the bluetooth mode and these are touch capacitive buttons they are not that responsive whenever you click them like as you can see this is the full volume 50 so as you can see i'm clicking it but the response is pretty slow and as you can see when i select the different kinds of modes you can see there is a display over there and these are your modes over usb a b jukebox memory and you can see i'm just selecting the fm mode so this is now fm mode so you, as you can see memory means music which you have stored inside the speaker you have 4 gb of internal storage inside the speaker so you can store music now this is in d in i also don't know which mode this is because i have never used this kind this mode so unknown mode and this is the aux one port as you can see aux port is over here at the back this is the see as you can see i pressed it but it was not that responsive it's, it's giving me that little bit of sound clicking sound but so this is the aux 2 mode see again now press it again it's not changing modes so this is not that responsive but it's okay for the price point you are paying see as you can see this is usb a you can see there's a red light over that which indicates which mode you are in this is the usb b so you have a display also over there and this is the bluetooth mode we are connected to right now so now i will connect the speaker to my nexus 6p or whichever phone i have right now and we are going to move to the sound test so friends the name of the song is black widow this is a remix by delay remix and the volume from my device is full as you can see and i've connected this device with my auxiliary port not with the bluetooth mode which is there inside the speaker because the bluetooth mode inside the speaker is giving some kind of a issue it's not getting connected with my nexus 6 p it does this kind of weird stuff sometimes but not always so let's continue with the sound test of this great sounding speaker which you are going to hear right now then i'm going to play the song and i'm going to show you some eq modes which are there inside the speaker the speaker now we come to a conclusion that the sound of the speaker is very loud it's super loud you can hear the speaker banging hard from about 400 meters away 350 to 400 meters away that's how loud the speaker sounds and the bass is so massive you cannot stand near to the speaker because 
this is a floor i've kept the speaker on the floor not on the table which i usually do but the floor was also vibrating as you can see in this video the floor was vibrating and the tripod was vibrating that's how the camera was also vibrating and if you stand near to the speaker you will also feel those vibrations in your body oh, that massive bass is so good like if you want to hear to music on this speaker only and this speaker gives you a proper 180 degree surround sound feel if you keep this speaker in the center if you have a television over here if you can imagine over here and you're keeping this speaker you've connected this speaker you're watching fifa or your movie you will get that feel you will get that thumping sound the sound of the speaker is so good and at the price of what you are getting this speaker this speaker is just a bargain in my opinion for about 28 to 30 thousand rupees there are links in the description you can check them out there is a price on that link please click on that link to check the price of the speaker this speaker is about 28 to 30 thousand rupees i got the speaker for about 32 thousand rupees from amazon and this speaker is such a great speaker this is, this is the best speaker i've ever reviewed on this channel i have not unboxed it because that is a very big box that's why i have not done the unboxing on this channel and you can see the speaker is also not fitting inside the frame and by the way i'm shooting this video on uh, the apple iphone 10 so moving on to the conclusion i think this is a bargain as i've said for that price you're getting so much of a speaker this speaker is a very loud speaker you get lots of connectivity options at the back and this is the mic one mic two your two usb ports aux port the second aux port you can connect aux from the rc also and you can connect it to your uh, television this is the antenna for the fm so you get lots of speaker inside this package so in my opinion this is one of the best speakers if you want a very loud sounding with a very bassy kind of a feel speak surround sound kind of a feel you don't want lots of bulging speakers lying around lots of wiring you can just go for this speaker because this is a great package in my opinion in this single tower you get 10 speakers that's massive and it sounds massive you heard it right now so friends if you want to buy the speaker the links are in the description do check them out and thank you for watching friends this is it for now this is the review of the panasonic scua7 thank you for watching friends